the cards, the player oh, cards. Oh yes, yes, and you, in fact you should. Yeah, so let's see who are our contestants for today. So on the left we have Nico Jazz, who has a win rate. Uh, those two players have been here for a while. Nico Jazz has been one top eight, and he got a seventh seven place in MT15, so just last edition. He has a win rate of 62%, which is pretty good. And his first, I should have gotten that beforehand. Yeah, his first MT was MT11. So right after the big influx in MTX. Meanwhile, Xuno is not too far behind with a win rate of 52%. Hasn't been to a top 8 yet. But they got a best placement of 26th last tournament. And is a really, real old person, old contestant. Having joined he's, in he's MT6. An old dude. <laughs> yeah. 85 years old over there. Uh, okay, let me. Oh, yes, I like what I'm seeing in race chat right now. Okay, so if it's that, box art should be quite easy. Is this that I'm seeing in the preview? Okay, 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 here it is. I need to do. We did put later rounds only, and in fact, I missed it, so I'm telling them. So I'm asking them oh. if they want to go with it or redraw. Yeah, I mean, those two should be fine, but... Yeah, it was just my mistake. I like to put the... When it's rounds, I like to put those first. So I see them mm -hmm. right away. Um, but both of them are okay with it. It's my mistake for missing it, but they're both okay with it. Um, they're both experienced <gasps> I... racers here. I mean, we've had top 8 games in round 1. This is fine. Yeah. This, um... I would say is too... is pretty hard. Oh, dang. Okay. I started to play this, uh... to test it, actually, but it was late. And I just, like, couldn't keep up. It's, it's quite a game. Wait, isn't there a typo in the name of the submitter? Or do I just don't know how to... how their name is spelled? It's both them and Snowdoz, or you can put Kieran H and Snowdoz, but, um... Let me check... Yeah, it's just that... I think you typoed when you were... re-writing in race oh. chat. Oh, I probably did. Yeah, Sorry. okay, so I that wasn't from Okay, I'm not writing Snow Dowser today. Okay, so it was submitted by Kaiden and Snow Dowser. Wait, how do you spell this game? Uh -huh. Oh, does that me dot enter just because you aren't there? All right, we should be good to go. Oh, out. <laughs> Kieran had an, an insane <laughs> uh, estimate, which is pretty funny. Oh. Beat, apparently, if that's a real estimate, beat every single one of our <laughs> testers. Um, oh, gosh. I mean, 
To be fair, with puzzle games, sometimes it happens. Okay, let me just check. Oops. Oh, nice. Oh, you entered, so I'm entering? No, the the goal is complete all puzzles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. There we go. Keep spelling this game wrong. If you could do the discard share later when you are ready. Oh yeah, I will. Um... And we should be good on the layout side. I still haven't checked cropping because I'm done. Okay, we may not be good yet. Okay. They, 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 I think they moved some stuff around. I did crop, but... Um... I'm checking. There. It looks what? Oh, one less pixel. Yeah, this one. Less nice. Here. No, this this could this could be less. All right. All right. What the game? The game is Orak Yubu. I kept saying Orkiabu, so I was spelling. I was just like saying and spelling it wrong in my head. Um. I'm going to exit this race. Then. Start the timer. Four, three, two, one, go! Puzzle time! So, from the base bin, this seems to be a Sokoban. This is Sokoban. I'm not complaining. This is the most Sokoban of Sokobans. Let's get some clean audio here. Oh, Nico Jazz has audio. Yes. Nice. The game's got some atmospheric noises. Oh, um, I see. So... <laughs> okay, so you walk around in first person to find the puzzle and then to look around the puzzle in 3D space, even though the puzzle is kind of in 2D. Yes. Kinda, I imagine. Mitsuno actually made a mistake. Um, that's unfortunate. There we go. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this, the game really starts to get difficult once you get to Nico Jazz's thing, where you can move the cubes themselves around. Okay. So it actually matters what sides they match up on. Um, and honestly, I only got like... <laughs> I only got probably like eight puzzles into this. Because it was so oh, hard for me. This reminds me of an old Flash game that had this mechanic, mechanic but it was a platformer. Hmm. And Xuno pulling ahead. Oh yeah, let me share this for you. Oh, I was gonna ping you about this. Alright, thanks. I like using this too so I can see the screen bigger. <laughs> yeah, it helps a lot. All right, yeah, so um, 
Okay, they are on the same stage. I mean, Exodus just completed it, but they were on the same stage, right? Yes, uh, Exuno got there first. So what the area that he needs to get the cube into is completely blocked off. So what he can do is now switch the order of these and mm -hmm. then get the cube to the other right side. There. Yeah. Uh, so you can do stuff like that because you're interacting in 2D when the cubes themselves are in 3D. Yeah, I mean, um, they locked the... No, they can go around still. Just push the block. No, Exuno, no, no, no. Okay. Exuno saw it. Good. Okay, this is interesting because... In Sokoban, usually, you can lock yourself by pushing a box into a wall. Here, walls aren't necessarily fixed. You can move some walls around. It's true. It's true, so you can kind of unlock some stuff later, but uh, not always. Yeah. Like here, imagine Exuno has to push one of the blocks to the other cube to be able to go to the other side of this cube they are currently on to do stuff. Yeah, to push it back. Um, mm -hmm. So, what's... Uh, the game will do things, at least in these beginning levels, where, like, right now, there's no 3D aspect to this puzzle so much because they completely block you off from leaving this area, no matter what you match up. So, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about other sides of things or whatever. It's just about switching the order of these two, either to be on the left or on the right. Oh, did Nico just but eventually... figure it out already? Oh, maybe I wasn't watching. Just like really quickly? Exodus. Okay, but this is... In... Yeah, no, you have to push the box upward first and then to the right. <laughs> but there he should be locked. Oh, puzzles aren't linear, are they? No, they're not. You can just... Okay. You do have to do them all for this goal, so it doesn't really matter which ones you do in what order. Um, it could be that Exuno has already... Oh yeah, and then he's good right here. Perfect. There we go. Hello for a turn. Hello. So yeah, that's the interesting part about this Sokobon game. Because you can remove some walls, kinda. Right. Um, this one's only what? one cube, so you just gotta be... Oh, push the bottom all to the right. No, but then how do you move that one? Because when you are on the right face of the cube and move up, you are going to push the top one to the left. On the corners... This, you have fewer like sides it's very strange yeah. even though even though it's fundamentally not that different than just like normal Sokoban it, it really gets oh. into your brain you push right down then you push the top on the top face of the cube to the right face of the cube there Okay, now Nico is doing the puzzle that Exuno was on Got moments it. ago. Okay. Yeah, Exuno will push down that cube, that box now, into the right now, which will make the box go down. Oh, yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then push that one down. That's crazy. Uh, that's, 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 I mean, it's weird. Tricky. It's difficult to... It's difficult for me to... Oh, wow. There's yeah, you have to open this... Into a 2D space to think, okay, if I move this that way, it will go to that other face into that direction. <laughs> Does Exuno really even know what the goal is here? I'm not sure I do. Okay, there's the goal. I mean, where even is Exuno in that board? 
He's oh, on that puzzle. He's a, yeah, he's on the top. So okay, at, I see now. <laughs> this this one is basically can you navigate 3D space? Everything is completely open. Mm -hmm. Um but you have to go from one face of the cube that has the let's call left side open so you may get to that left side. True. Oh, there it so, is. Okay. There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think that's Meanwhile, amazing. That's amazing that he got it so quickly. I, I, I was not there yet. Okay, let's see Nico Jazz, because Nico Jazz is on the puzzle that Exxon was moments ago with the corner of the cube. And let's see how long it takes for him to figure this out. He is doing some fun movement on the corner, which is a good sign already. Yeah. At this point, it's difficult for me to say who's ahead. I think Exuno is slightly ahead. Um, Nico Jazz has the right idea. Oh, can do it this way too. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you think that's a it different corner a, puzzle? A different corner. Huh. Because it seemed like a different solution. This is a different corner puzzle. No, you blocked yourself there. I wasn't even watching. Exuno just finished another puzzle. Um, oh, do you have to do the corner again on the right face that is hidden away? Oh, that's smart. You can use the blank on, on Exum sides. You you can use the blank space on one of the face of the cube to move to the other side of the other cube, like that. I think. <laughs> Exodo stop! <laughs> okay, Exodo got to one of the face, then they can go back to the other side, so they can get back to the cube with the go. I'm I'm laughing, but it's it's not really be it's not because I think this is wrong or anything. It's just like I'm just confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's... like, how can I even commentate this? Yeah, when it is confusing. And when Exuno is moving the cube so much that it's like, oh, it's that one side that isn't on the same point in 3D space. And like, that side, you all know what I'm talking about. And no one knows, but it's fine. Okay, this one is the same that Exuno did uh, a while ago, and it's done already. Wow. Nico Jazz could be in puzzle mode. That puzzle brain. <laughs> Exuno is also a pretty strong player overall. Yes. And I feel like they are good in puzzles. Maybe not the best player in puzzles, but good. But Nico Jazz does have a fame for being good at puzzles, doesn't he? <clears throat> Nico Jazz is quite good at puzzles uh, in general, although also has really good execution. It's difficult to say what its specialty is. Exuno is a pretty strong player, but is probably better at puzzles than anything else. So Nico Jazz can go over the top here, down to the other side, actually. I think I saw it. Um, believe it or not, I, I do think I actually saw what a solution was. So um, you can't go from the top because the side is no, blocked? No, you can't, but if you go over to the top of the other side of this cube, over it, then I think you can then line them up correctly. Okay, yes, 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 I see what you're talking about. Because thought... you, uh... Oh, did Exuno solve it? I'm looking over... <laughs> He's now on a different puzzle. <laughs> this, no, that this has to so... to the right. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm tr I'm really trying. There's a lot going on here. Uh... Yeah, it's hard... No, I'm sorry. No, that's all. Go ahead. Yeah, it it's hard because the puzzles are quite difficult to commentate. And they are non-linear, and they are going so fast that's like, if you try to pay attention in one side, you completely lose track of what's happening on the other side. This this <laughs> is the kind of game where 
I don't, uh, I don't like, I don't hate it. I think it's a cool game and I, I would enjoy playing it probably casually, but stuff that's this mentally taxing, I have a hard time with, uh, during races. Oh no, can Exxon move the cube in 3D space now? I don't think so. I think they're just permanently offset. Okay. That's less bad, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with taking a long time on a puzzle game and then, like... When it comes to, like, a platformer, if you beat it faster, you're usually just better at it because you you know, are not dying as much and you're you're seeing where the perfect jumps are and that kind of thing. So you are kind of getting more out of it sometimes. When you're faster in a game like this, um, it, it, you're, I mean, faster or slower in a game like this, you're still very much like experiencing it the intended way, which is good. Mm. Puzzle games can be kind of experienced anyway, which is why they're so weird to race. A lot of people don't really have experience racing this kind of thing. Both these players do because it comes up in Mystery Tournament a lot. Um, nice. Exuno going back and doing some of the easier puzzles. Oh, Nico Jess had to put the cubes cornering each other. So yeah, that's one thing though, going back to easier puzzles. In puzzle games, even with branching paths and stuff, usually a given path will teach you something that you will need later down in that path. Oh, that's true. Yeah, like the whole corner edge thing. Yeah. I'm trying to remember of a programming game that we played for the Flash GP, I think. That had this, and I went down one path, and the other path I couldn't do in any way, in a reason reasonable time. Mm. Because they were completely different puzzles and challenges, so it's like, okay, you have to think this way here and that way there. Oh, you can do the left side of Exunus puzzle completely, in a completely independent way from the right side. Kind of. You, you still I mean, have after... to... I think yeah, he has it here. He just needs up. to push it. Yep, yep, okay. And I'll separate the two and he's there done. You can kind of like stow it away for later. Yeah. I feel like we've seen this puzzle on Nico's Jazz side. That Exono is on right now. Oh, Nico Jazz is back at that puzzle that Exono just did. Yeah. Oh, and did it a different way. Unless no, that's, that's a different puzzle. One. Yeah, because the goal, the two goals was on the same side of the different cubes. And that one, one of the goals was on the right side and another was on the frontal side, let's call. Right. Oh dang, this is hard because those puzzles look a lot like each other. Well, it's kind of like uh, everyone's great puzzle, uh, first person Sokoban, uh, everyone's <laughs> favorite puzzle game, which GFM has played. Um, <laughs> and I still feel bad about that phrase. In, in that game, they. Uh, they do, it seems like they do some puzzles like twice to try and like uh, make it so, oh, you know, what do you, I mean, there's one they literally do twice. That's not what I'm talking about, but there's one where they do like almost the same puzzle, but it's slightly different to get you to kind of rethink what you're doing. So this game seems to kind of do that kind of thing. I know there I mean, are other that's... better puzzle games that do it, but that's a funnier example. Yeah, that's a good thing to do in puzzles, actually. Because first you teach, okay, you can do this to solve this kind of puzzle. But what do you have to do now with this other piece? In that case, it was with the 
various box in the first person Sokoban. Because, okay, <laughs> if you have one box, you do this. If you have three boxes, how do you make it so that one box won't block the other boxes? Bright Shadow, don't, please. <laughs> We've we've talked about second person Sokoban. Maurice made a little demo of text based Sokoban. Um, nice, Nico Jazz solved that. Uh, I think Exuno solved his. Nico Jazz put a dot time in the race chat, which uh, I, that could be an intimidation factor thing. Let me tell you, when I see a dot time, I get scared. It pisses me off. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Because it doesn't mean anything. I don't understand why people are doing it, and it just makes me stressed out. I mean, <laughs> it's an intimidation it factor. There's not. There's no that... rule against typing dot time. It could be that Nico Jazz doesn't have a timer up and just wants to know if the game is still up for he draw if he goes too fast. Yeah, pro tip when racing ID. That's your. That's your, uh, you can do that to intimidate me. <laughs> Generally, I always look to see what people are saying in the race chat, but I rarely say anything myself. I don't usually want to take my hands off the game. In a game like this, I wouldn't care as much, but especially in like a platformer. I wouldn't want to take my hands off the game. Nice, Exuno solving that. Oh, nice. That's why I will always recommend to have Brace Chat in another device. If you can have it mm. up somehow in your phone, do that. Yeah, that's good. Because then you can... I have a notebook that I use to check that my stream is okay and to keep track of Brace Chat. So I can just leave that done there and just press enter on that PC without even having to move to another window. So this is your, uh, this is your white whale here, Mythical 9. The one Exuno's on now, which we thought he already did, but this was the one Nico did earlier. Oh. I legitimately cannot tell you who is ahead, by the way. If you want the commentator to know, he doesn't. Maybe GFM knows. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> I'm doing my, my best to keep track of what each racer is doing. And that's all I can do. That's a really good question. Are there two are there stages that use more than two boxes? No, yeah, more than two more than two cubes. Yeah, more than two mean, cubes. Yeah, Not yeah, more yeah. than two um Soko boxes. Yeah, because for me it's like cube. The 3D thing right. and box the yeah. 2D thing. Now, has there ever been a game called Soko Box? Nice, oh, Exuno solved this. Exuno has it, yeah. That's incredible. Dang! Sorry, Myth. Oh gosh, is Nico Jazz in a maze right now? Oh, yeah, I could call that a maze. <laughs> look what your comments say. I will look what the comments say. Um <laughs> uh, says spent a normal time on every puzzle except one, which took me an hour to see an easy move anyone else would have seen in minutes, and a top player would see immediately. This is almost surely fine. Yeah, he's saying fine because in general, we would shorten a goal that takes too long. This took Myth an hour and 40 minutes, which normally we wouldn't let through. Sully and Spice, who are both actually pretty strong puzzles, um, puzzlers, were able to get it done in uh, around 40 minutes. Um, I don't know how many levels there are, but it would surprise me if both these racers aren't maybe going to beat those times, because it seems like they're cruising through this game, but... Yeah, Bright Shadow mentioned that this game doesn't seem to have the super difficult parts of Sokoban and stuff. Maybe it's just that this game doesn't have as many boxes. And usually the boring part of Sokoban, the real issue is that 
when there are too many blocks, you see how to solve the puzzle, and then you spend a long time just moving things around. Yeah, that's how and you I... know if you're playing a game that was made to be fun, or a game that was made to take a long time, so you wouldn't... Mm. Like, so it seemed like a value. If you play a Sokoban game from, like, 1998, it's gonna just have, like, 80 <laughs> boxes. <laughs> oh, nice, okay. Nice! Exuno, that, that was, that was kind of, like, outside-the-box thinking. Um, no pun intended. Well, pun intended. We'll say the pun was intended. Um... Okay, they are on the same puzzle right now. Oh. <laughs> Have both of them done all the same puzzles? I don't know. They may have at this point, actually, done all of the same puzzles. This could be I mean, the I same. See... Yeah, I don't see any white on the back for any of them, I believe. I think like on Nico Jazz, that white is part of the background and not a puzzle that hasn't been done yet. Oh, there are three boxes in this stage. Exuno has one of them solved. Nico Jazz. Oh, Exuno has, has one, I the two same. of three. Oh. Exuno just put in the second. He just sees it. I think he's got it. If he. Oh, can your previously solved ones block you off? Maybe. Oh, Nico just has it. Wow. Uh Oh nice. <laughs> Exuda's doing something kinda weird, but it's working. Um... <laughs> so that's the thing that we were talking about that I was talking about that Oh we did a re full reset. Oh no. Wow. That's a big time loss. Like, in first person Sokoban, that's the puzzle with that three box puzzle that is repeated. Now you have to <laughs> take care that one of the box won't block the others, and mm -hmm. it just happened. It's exactly that same thing, yeah. Maybe first person Sokoban isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I didn't know there was a schedule command. <laughs> oh. There's supposed to be game coming up in three minutes. Oh, nice. I could. So we'll see if they wait or if they don't, or we'll just have to see. I'll log into World Drive just in case. Yeah, there's no rotation, Bright Shadow. I think that would just destroy things. I mean, it'd be fine, I guess, but it would be pretty mm. awful. It would be awful more so than for the players, for the level designer. Because it can trivialize a lot of things. Rotating the cubes around. Alright. I think, yeah, I think at this point Nico Jazz is getting a definitive. There's the three cube. The three cube tail. <laughs> Got him all crowded. He's on the final puzzle? Wow. 26 minutes in. Oh, there's two circles? Oh my gosh. You can do that nowadays, though. You know, if all games had to be physically released like they did back in the day, you, you wouldn't be able to just, like, give up 
when things started to get really hard, you'd be like, I have to actually keep going. But you can make an hour long game nowadays. It's fine. Yeah, so when you said physical release of the game, I couldn't help but imagine three cubes in your hand and you're like, okay, so I push this this way <laughs> and that, that way and you rotate the cubes around. I know what you mean, but... Okay, but yeah, if this is the last puzzle, this is kind of borderline what could be too long for this game. This amount of branching paths and moving parts and stuff. This this has the later rounds only tag. Um, it was my mistake. I missed it, but then I asked the players. They said, yeah, we're both experienced. We can play a hard game now. It's fine. Yeah, no, uh, but I meant this like a... A Sokodon with boring two many oh, steps. Oh, also. oh, yes, yes. I like that. No, you can't move the cubes up and down. Uh, and you haven't been able to the whole time. Uh, if this were, you know a big ol' like a Drachneck puzzle game or something that would probably get there eventually where you'd have to start moving the cubes up and down maybe even rotating them what does TRM stand for? I don't know terrible rhythm mistake there is a lot of rhythm in fighting games. And I mean, I feel like you could have the same acro acronym for multiple things in multiple games. Throw reject miss. Mm. Okay. Tertiary rhyming mechanic? <laughs> what would that even mean? So this puzzle that Exudo's doing, Nico Jazz just like did, like nobody's business then. Oh man, he's he's got him sandwiched. <laughs> he's using both these to his advantage here. Oh, there is one of the goals. Yeah, he's got one done. Uh he's got I mean it's oh there are three boxes. Oh no, that's the player. That <laughs> I, I saw a circle and I was like, okay, that's the goal. I was like, but where is the player? But no, that the circle was the player that I was seeing. How many goals are there on this stage? Are there only two boxes? Oh, now it's on, yeah, reset. I wonder if this game is like many other puzzle games that you just work your, your way from the goal. Like, okay, I need to get there. How can I get to that path? Okay, from those other paths, how can I get the box there without blocking myself? And go from working your way your way from the goal to the start of the puzzle. The... <clears throat> the Really, the only way I can do any puzzle game is kind of by working backwards by trying to find areas that have the most restrictions. Um, mm -hmm. Which I think is a line of reasoning that comes from paper puzzling initially. Like, you're doing a Sudoku or something. It's similar, where you look for where the tightest restriction is. But, like, the problem in this game is that my brain can't see any restrictions anywhere ever. Because everything is so open and you can literally move the level around that the amount of states to keep track in your head is a lot harder. Like chess, almost. Yeah, I can see what you mean, but, like, okay, the goal is on the bottom right 
of this cube, of this face of the cube. Okay, how I can I get to that bottom right? I can get from this face, from that face, and from that other face of whichever cubes. So I can't see how you could yeah. see paths, uh, see blocking paths. Like, okay, I can only get to this bottom right from the left, let's say. So you have to find a path that connects to this left and so on. But yeah, it is a lot open-ended, this. Like, it has a lot of freedom, actually. Well, with Nico Jazz being able to control two different player characters on this level, especially, <laughs> that multiplies it by a lot. Um, yeah. The level Exuno's on is interesting because... I don't think I think that top box can never move from the top row, uh, and the same with the bottom box. The thing is, there's so much open space that it makes me feel like yeah, you could get the box to move vertically, but I. I have to agree with you, it doesn't look like that. Mikey, isn't your match coming up next? You still could. Not this exact game, but I bet there's other 3D Sokoban in the pool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Well, you know, Shrambles, it's not always about what you want, all right? I actually think I may try and just, if you guys are gonna go right after this, I may try and give you the game I already pulled for them because I made a mistake and already copied it because I thought there was no way they could be blind. So it'll, it'll make it look like I never made a mistake on the draw list. It's fine. I've done that in the last tournament. <laughs> It somehow got solved. Okay, so I guess Exuno is going to push that. Yeah. And where Who's is that? Got it now. Oh, nice. Final okay. level. High game, but. This is, I mean, significantly more knowledge uh, yeah. for Nico Jazz. Exuno probably doesn't even know that he has two player characters. See, even though you have really good points, Myth, to point out that it's literally something you would never need to do, I still want to know if it's possible. <laughs> that question's got me curious. <laughs> okay, Exuno now sees that there are multiple people that can be controlled. Okay. So yeah, especially now that this will eventually get to YouTube, uh, me in chat doesn't go to YouTube. Myth is saying chat that seems like Nico hasn't seen that one of the circles, one of the players, may need to stay on the starting position to push out a box after the other circle does something. Mm. 
which I can't see as being part of a puzzle. And curiously, I was re-watching the Enigma game that was on MT15 Top 8. Oh, and the one that Snowdozer made? Yeah, the puzzle pack that Snowdozer made for Got the it. game. And there was not one puzzle that you had to trap one of the players, move a box on top of that to be able to push that box up. So it mm. could be something similar to that. Mm -hmm. I think Exuno just saw that. Just saw that this is going to be impossible if I don't trap this other guy in. Uh, but had to restart in order to make that happen. Maybe didn't have to, but the undo in this game seems slow. Okay, yeah. I like that you can see all the levels around the outside. Mm -hmm. It's neat. It's a neat little feature. A nature, if if you will. Yeah, that's fair point. That's right. Shadow yeah. made in chat. <clears throat> Most likely, if you see that, uh, and he said, if he sees that, it's like, okay, that most likely did this, so I hide the pl one player in one nook, so it can be used later on. Because you have to click in order to activate the face or the circle, there's no way to ever move something inside of a uh like in between two cubes right like you can't ever move something that's currently hidden mm. i don't think that's possible um yeah, because you have to not. visually be able to see it to click on it in order to be controlling it in the first place yeah because first you have would have to hide it by moving the cubes so you aren't controlling the player right and then you can't click it anymore Well, regardless, I mean, yeah, there might be like some inappropriate way to do it, but like you would, <laughs> you would know that you, the game probably wasn't designed in order to do that. Uh, oh, you can't, you cannot pit push the circle. Exudo just tried. <laughs> the most important answer, the question has been answered. F's in chat for the for the no circle push. This is crazy. To be fair, even though we said that Nico just had a big lead on Nexuno, only from their knowledge of the stage, I don't see that anymore. I feel no, like no it's been a long time now. I mean, at this point, the longer, you know, the longer both these players stay on the stage, like if they were both on this stage for a hundred years, you would con <laughs> you would consider that they got here at the same time, you know. So the percentage yeah. of difference uh, lessens ev every second. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, I I think that sure. I think that at this point it's reasonable that a player could have finished the stage already. So it's just a matter of time before one of them figures it out. Um Yeah, to be fair, Sir Nico, I hasn't been able haven't been able to see where the goal is on this specific level yet. It's it's out on a uh, Yeah, it's like out on a little island that's trapped in a little corridor that's only one wide at least the okay. the one i saw there's probably there's two boxes so there must be more than one but yeah over uh right there on exuno 
<laughs> I pointed at the screen like you could see it. You, you can't. Um, now would be a time, a truly devious time to dot time in the race chat. Uh, <laughs> so if you really want to do psych your opponent out and want to waste, you know, 10 seconds that it takes to tab out, if you dot timed right now, I can tell you it would piss me off. <laughs> so what I mean, if your opponent dot times, is your opponent like scared that they've been on that same spot for too long and want to know, oh god damn, how long has it been and my opponent hasn't dot done yet? What's happening? Like what is the opponent thinking when they dot time? Uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't. To, to be honest with you, I don't understand why anyone would ever dot time ever. I don't understand what use it has in a race scenario. You would just know how long it's been, but it doesn't matter. It would. It's relevant if you're coming up on the 90 minutes, but there's no way that either of these players, like they must know that they're not. Regardless, if I, if my opponent has not dot done, I always, I just assume that I'm gonna win. And because that gives me the hope to keep going, you know, I, I, I don't I, most of the time I won't, but it feels good. <laughs> yeah, I was going to point that out, but Tipsy has said already. OK, for players, there may be no reason, but but for mods, it's quite useful when like you have to read time. It's like, oh, oh yes, something yeah, happened right now, dot time. OK, it's being solved, dot time. And then you have the kind of dish of when the thing happened. Yes, that's good info. Yeah, and then someone typing dot time because they think it's dot done. That's not unreasonable because it's, you know, it's sometimes you say time when you're done with something. Regardless, in this level, no, it's fair. The, the, the reason that I can't say exactly what the player should be doing is because as a player, I would be rotating the camera around frequently until I understood the level. But it would be in my own brain's way of doing it. And it's most likely what the players are doing is not going to match up with exactly what I would be doing. So there's still aspects of this level I don't understand how stuff connects together. <laughs> what was your goal, Snowdozer? Was it reach this level? Just do everything around the outside and then don't do the final. Okay, first vertical level, as in the first level, with two boxes, with a vertical of uh, one placed on top of another. That's a very unique goal. I appreciate the effort you put into considering how to word that well. <laughs> Nico Jazz with another dot time in the race <laughs> chat. There's the dot. <laughs> There's the, the truly devious dot time from Nico Jazz. <laughs> the psychological I mean, warfare <laughs> is strong. How long has it been since he got here? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? It's been a while, yeah. I think that uh, the it, it players have comfortably right. spent close to a third of the race on this level. Yeah, it may feel like a lot more. It's like, oh, is it already close to the nine minutes mark? Oh. 
Nico Jazz, like, what if the answer is in the settings menu? It's always good to check. What if there's a thing in settings that says auto win? <laughs> they didn't say I couldn't turn it on. Oh, gosh. So I st still you have think Exuno's insane. on its way, Myth? I still haven't seen it, but it's like in one of the those one-way paths, it's on the other side of the cube, the go. There's like those one tile corridors. Do you have to get to one of the corridors and down to the other side? Mm hmm. I think you. I think you have to do that twice. I think both the box's goals are in curved, the one tile corridors. Okay. Can Myth says that Exuno may have it? Like, may be in a winning state still. Actually, I like this that Exuno is doing right now with keep, keeping the cubes as far away as possible to see. Okay, I'm only moving from this cube to that other cube. Without trying to see all three cubes at once, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, uh -oh. that's one. Yeah, well, you know you can't softlock the level... Uh... I guess soft lock is a strong word. That's kind of how puzzle games are meant to be played. But you, oh, that one guy just finished. That's scary. After this long, someone doing a dot done. Yeah. Well, that one guy uh, is quite strong. Um, yeah. They struggled with this game as well, clearly. Not struggled. This is honestly a very good performance from both players, but... Um, like spending so long on this level the players are going to feel like they're struggling themselves mm -hmm. oh but what i was going to say earlier is you know you can't soft lock the game moving the cubes around you move the cubes around as much as you want so might as well have spend some fun spend some time just trying to figure out where stuff goes before you commit mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Uh, that's why Nico Jazz was doing dot time because he thought time might be called at sixty minutes, yeah. which, in fairness, use it used to be. Um, regardless, as a racer, you don't need to worry about that. We'll tell you. I mean, you kind of have to worry because. Yeah, I guess that's true. As, it could affect racer, your strategy. Yeah, you may think, how much more do I have to suffer through this, or do I just <laughs> wait until it times out? Because I can see, like, a puzzle game, when you've been on a single puzzle for a long time, it's taxing. It's, it tires a lot. Don't tell me that the box on Exuno's side is blocked off, please. It's unclear. Because I don't see anything that could lead to that tile beneath the box. Oh, okay, the circle was to the left of the box, okay. Oh. oh, 
Yeah, this could be it. But, oh, but he, he's got a... Yeah, move the circle to the top part first, I think. Oh. Yeah, it does have an undo, but it's not that fast. Even if Exuno did do the boxes in the wrong way, he understands it. If he had to do this again, it would be not that bad. Um, yeah, right now I don't see any way for him to get up there. But it's pretty complicated, so there could be a way. What is the next match that was scheduled? Trambles. Okay, Trambles. And uh, it might be Mikey, who are both in the chat, and I believe that they're waiting uh, until this ends. Yeah, because the other one, Mr. Moogie and Jamie Pinsbone, just mentioned in, in Discord that the match was postponed. So, okay, that's the one that was postponed. Oh, okay. Oh, did Exono actually reset? Yes. Because they... Okay, so that may be the case, as Myth was saying, that you have to solve one box before the other. Like, one box... Is it, is it one box one. before the other, or is it that one box needs to go to one exit and vice versa? I mean, what Myth said is that one box mm, seems to only be able to get to one goal, and the other has Got to it. go to the other goal. Got it. If I had to, <laughs> it'd be pretty hard. But if I had to call a winner right now, I guess I would say Exuno because they've had one green on this stage. That it's, is fair. That's kind of weird, though, because it's not actually progress. Yeah, that's what I was going to comment, because Exuno didn't got the box into the correct go, so it yeah. wasn't progress. But it also taught Exuno that, okay, this isn't, isn't how you solve the puzzle. Oh, did Nico so have one green ahead. too? Well, that's totally different then. If Nico also had oh, one okay. green, I would just say him, yeah. because he was the first one to get here. Yeah, Nico got yeah, that it, first, which is the um, usual way these kind of things would be scored. But yeah, I like this, this isn't going to take the players another half an hour, so we'll be fine. Yeah, I like this golden rule of whoever got first to the goal, because then I don't have to worry, worry about those corner cases. Like, okay, who solved more of the puzzle before the other? Is it tangible progress or was it just exploring and not actually tangible? And what even is tangible? So, yeah. I think this is it here. Yep. Okay. I think we got it. Yep, there it is. Wow. <laughs> and Exodo just screams in chat. Oh, nice. You were on the win button. I, I was like, oh, no, I didn't put him. I didn't have him win, but somebody did. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, crap. I moved to another tab, but I found that pretty quickly. Hello. Well, hello. 
was stressful. Nico I, made it to the final level before you. Really? Yes. Okay. Dang. Um, was it that like 17 minutes when he first got timed? No. <laughs> okay. I don't even I know. I was, I was talking about how dot times make me mad, and I don't <laughs> know why anyone would do it. makes me scared. Um, but, uh, no, it got there about five to seven minutes before you. Maybe not even okay. quite that many. And you were both there for so long that it doesn't. Yeah, it yeah, ended yeah. Up not worrying. But he was pretty much just barely in the lead, I think, most of the race. Um, and then okay. uh, you yeah, pulled I felt like I was doing really well at the beginning, but I I know Nico's good at this too. So. You were doing really well. You were just both doing yeah. really well. Um, what'd you um, think? I got a little hung up on the first level with the vertical thing. That's when I went back and like redid all of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. There was a couple of other levels I remember being rough. The one where you had to like push them onto the, the pass around the cubes to keep doing the loops like on the left because each one only had like one loop and you had to like line them up. It took me too oh, long yeah. to realize the, the, one, the middle one out of the way. The one one or two before the final one you're saying. I think it was made of, I don't remember when it was. Everything before the end was a blur. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, um, I guess did Nico just not spot how to get the cube out uh, the, like the first one to get off the wall? Or uh, was it something else? In this final level? Yeah. Yeah. That, was the big thing. Th that seems to be where the big disconnect is. It's difficult. Yeah, because it's like you only have yeah. two starting moves. It, it took me a, a minute or two to even notice the second circle. I noticed and that. Like, oh, I understand the puzzle. Did, did Nico spot it faster? Nico has had the second circle. I mean, had it before, well, yeah, yeah. well before you came to the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yes. Uh, I, I was messing yeah, around yeah. with the first circle. I was like, well, what am I even doing here? And then I was like, well, let me look at the puzzle. Let me figure out where the boxes are. I was like, there's the other box. And I was like, holy shit, there's another circle. That explains and, a lot. And I think Nico just did it. Yeah. Okay. Just did it. GG. Incredible. Yeah, I'll wait a minute for him to get in here then. <sighs> Oof. Oh, did we get the uh did we get the give game in the Yeah, Shramble versus Mikey. Great. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad they waited yeah, on us. We did. Um a lot of stuff up to get, but I don't know if you want to do anything that other game or not. <laughs> I want to so it doesn't isn't broken on the sheet. I'll see if they're blind. <laughs> Wait, what's broken? <laughs> Well, because I already copied the one over because I thought there was no way that Nico Jazz would have played some Japanese game I could barely even find to download. <laughs> but he's like, oh, no, I played it. No, for sure. I played that game. <laughs> so, so I just didn't uh, know. Hey, Nico. Hello. Hello. GG. Uh, hard game. Well, hard final level. And a couple of other ones. <laughs> well, it wasn't. I was just one tiny thing i was missing the entire time yeah it took me a while to find it too obviously but once i realized well once i found the second circle that took me a while longer than it should have oh um once i found the That's... second circle i realized okay there's only two ways you can possibly start this puzzle so one of them has to be impossible and the other one isn't um and then i, I just kept lining up the cubes in different ways until i could finally spot some way i get one of the blocks out of an impossible position oh, and wait. i found that gap no, um, yeah i just i just kept missing the gap for the right block yeah and... um what's it called and then yeah I, I was like oh i haven't even looked at the top of these cubes much at all and then i saw the gap and i was able to get that out and then i put the block onto the wrong uh like answer spot because you can only get the like left one onto one of the spots because of where it spot starts so i had to redo the final level and that was the part i was like oh fuck i just threw <laughs> it was extremely stressful yeah like immediately noticed how to get both of them to their spots but yeah I missing the gap for the right block mm -hmm. okay well good race yeah. Who am I actually going to be up against? Because this was not the mm. place I was prepared for to go. Wait, do I have an opponent? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? Probably not. 
I can check I that. I have can. Discord. No. Book. Oh, I'm against the winner of Aaron Dovi and Ringadan. Oh, uh, didn't they play yesterday? And no one reported it? Or I thought they were scheduled. They did. They did play yesterday. Um, oh. Aaron won. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm up against that one guy or Mr. Zimbu, and that one guy also destroyed us in this race. So, so I guess someone needs to report that. That someone could be me. I'm on the page right now. Who won? Aaron won. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, let's in the, this side. Court scores, Aaron. Okay, well, congrats. It looks like we're moving on to... I hope I haven't gotten... I got logged out of Final Fantasy. God damn it, I, this game was too hard. Forgot to check on it when I was stuck. But I won, so... Better be able to log back in in the next hour. Okay. Oh, so... Now, I've heard about these things. And now they yeah. won't even let people buy it. But like, yes. What 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 happens? Uh, can you not even get in in the first place? Uh, well, there's a player queue for the amount of people who can be logged into the game, and so when you try and log in, it tells you there is a thousand people waiting to log in before you can get in. I you need to wait for people to stop being connected. I didn't know if it was specifically to do like a type of dungeon or something. I'm so. No. I'm so... No, no, it's to play the game at all because the servers are overloaded and over capacity and they can't afford more because of the 10-year-old architecture they need and the global shortages of, you know, shipping stuff and producing stuff. I keep pulling games. I'm on, like, number, like, five that <laughs> Shrambles is hopefully blind to. Uh... To... This is one of those matches I see. Oh, that would be surprising. I'll put some rain oh, right. so it's not just the A ASMR keyboard. Ooh! All oh, right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that I struggled the most on the stupid normal Sokoban levels. <laughs> Outside of the final level, I I definitely had so many problems with the it's just a normal Sokoban level on the corner of a cube, and I hated them because <laughs> they were actually hard puzzles and not just figure out which way you need to connect things. Um, no, no, I don't think I really got stuck on those. Yeah, it's because you're good at video games. <laughs> uh... well, it really depends on the puzzle game for me. I'm either pretty good at it or I suck and can't beat like, the first five levels of Snakebird. Yeah. But it, it's also annoying because of the way the controls work. Like, you just press a button and you go in some direction. <laughs> and you're like, oh no, gotta hit rotate things. Uh, yeah. It, it yeah, has yeah, to be certain the camera all the time. It's, it keeps changing, so it's even worse than usual. Oh yeah, this is a good SRL room. Wow. <laughs> well, never mind. Um, okay. 